In this lecture, we discuss the concept of digital interpolation. Interpolation is the process of increasing the sampling frequency of a system after we have already sampled the signal. Let's suppose that we have sampled a signal using a period of T1 and want to increase the sampling density so that the sampling period is T2. Before we describe how to increase the sampling density, let's review some assumptions we will make about the system. First, the signal we are interpolating must be band limited to B radians per second. Second, the DTFT of the signal will be band limited to B times T1 and will be replicated at every interval of 2 pi. The magnitude of the DTFT will also be scaled. Third, if we interpolate our signal to a new period, T2, then we want the new DTFT to be band limited to B times T2 and be scaled by the new period. Since the new sampling frequency is higher than our original sampling frequency, the second DTFT will be a squished version of the original. For the rest of the lecture, let's suppose that we want to triple the sampling frequency of our signal. We can interpolate to three times the sampling frequency using two steps. First, we increase the number of samples in Y by a factor of L using a process called upsampling. Second, we low pass filter the upsampled signal to smooth out the samples we added. When we upsample a signal, we simply add L minus 1, 0 samples in between the samples of Y of N. If we add these 0 samples into Y, we squish the frequency axis of the DTFT of Y by a factor of L. Since we are not adding energy to the signal, we do not scale the magnitude of the DTFT. To finish the interpolation, we need to remove the replicates created by the upsampling, and we need to scale the magnitude of the DTFT to the new sampling frequency. We can accomplish both of these goals by using a low pass filter with the appropriate height and cutoff frequency. This low pass filter will smooth out the upsampled waveform so that the output of the interpolator is a smooth waveform. Digital interpolation allows us to increase the effective sampling frequency of a system by adding additional samples into the signal in a strategic manner. First, we add L samples between each sample in our signal. By adding these signals, we squish the frequency domain of our signal. Therefore, we must low pass filter the signal to remove the unwanted byproducts of this frequency squishing. 